Well, I'll tell you what happened. When I first saw Gail Sayers, it was a game in Lambeau Field. And Gail had, didn't have a greatest day he's ever had. He had much better days. But he had a great day. And, and I saw the greatness that afternoon. And I walked up to Gail after the game. And I said, Gail, I'm Paul Horning. He said, yes, sir, I know who you are. He was very polite. And I said, Gail, all I can tell you is this. I think you can be the greatest back that the National Football League has ever seen. Play it straight. I said, it's very easy to get off key in the city of Chicago. I know the city. I've been there. And I said, keep your nose clean. I said, be straight. And I said, just listen to your coaches and just try your best. You could be the best running back, I think, in the history of this league. And he, he and Jim, Jim Brown, I think, came closest to that. And you also played with Jim Brown in the, uh, in the college all-star game, uh, coached by Otto Graham. And you tell a story in this rap book about uh, you in dealing with Otto Graham. Can you just give us a little bit of info on that? They didn't start. Uh, they didn't start me or Jim Brown in the All Star game. We were kind of supposed to start if you listen to the sports writers, because naturally Chicago, being so close to Notre Dame, was very you know back to Notre Dame quite a bit, the city of Chicago. And of course, here comes Jim Brown from Syracuse, in who was already rated as probably the you know best college football player in the league, in on the surface, and. Otto Graham was our backfield coach. Well, I didn't get along with Otto, and uh, Jim, Jim Brown didn't either. He didn't start us. He didn't play us. Now, we had three good quarterbacks on that on that All-Star team, John Brody and uh, Len Dawson and Paul Horning. And I didn't play too much until the crowd got on it. And Curly Lambeau was the coach of the All-Stars in that game. And Otto Graham was the offensive coordinator. Well, we got our ass beat by the Detroit Lions that day. And uh, I didn't get into the second quarter, neither did Jim Brown. Well, the first thing I did, I knew how good Jim Brown was. I saw him, you know, in practice. I gave the football to Jim Brown every play. I just said, well, you're going to run it till you, till you die, or you're either going to get in the end zone. And he got in the end zone. We scored a touchdown. So we go in the locker room, and Curly says, Harding, I want to start you second quarter. comes up to me. I want to start you in the third quarter. Start second half, you start. I said, no, sir, I don't think so. He said, what's wrong? I said, I got a bad leg. I said, coach, I, I came back. I didn't have a bad leg, but I didn't give a shit about Otto Graham. And uh, Jim Brown did the same thing. He wanted to, he wanted to dress at halftime, and I talked him out of it. I said, no, Jim, don't do that. I said, you can't do that. You you know, we have, we're going to our teams next week as rookies. And I said, it just wouldn't go right. Thank, I think he listened to me. He didn't dress, but we didn't play in the second half. We we did not play. And I went on to Green Bay in my rookie season, of course. And, and Jim Jim went to Cleveland, of course. And uh, But I don't think either of us really cared too much, you know, for Otto Graham. 